Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Peter Sherwood in the WRL Severe Weather Center. It is a frosty start to the day with temperatures down into the 20s and 30s. It's going to be cold out there standing at the bus stop with uh, those temperatures so cold. And remember to give yourself some extra time to scrape off the frost off of your vehicles uh, before you hit the roads. We are going to see our temperatures gradually climb into the 50s today. It's still going to be a chilly one considering where we should be for this time of the year and rain will move in as we head into this evening across the west and then streaming into the east and becoming widespread as we head into tonight. Thursday is going to be a mess at times as we are tracking some heavy rainfall and the potential for some severe storms to develop. Coming up, I'm going to show you where we're thinking the better chance of those severe storms will likely develop. And then once we head into this weekend, we're going to be done with the rain and we're just going to have those cold temperatures around. So you can see the storm system right now moving across the Midwest, bringing blizzard conditions across some of those northern states in the Midwest, like Nebraska, South Dakota. We are going to continue to watch the warm sector with this system because severe storms will be possible and ongoing across the South. I'm talking about states like Louisiana and Mississippi today. That's where we have the severe risk in place. Blizzard conditions again possible across some of those northern areas like Nebraska. We are seeing a slew of winter weather alerts across the upper Midwest and some of that streaming across the Northeast. Now I want to show you this system because it's eventually going to move towards the east, bringing some showers into our region as we head into this evening. We have widespread rain developing into tonight and tomorrow. Some of those showers could be heavy at times. Now just towards the south and east with the front actually progressing across the state in the afternoon, we are going to watch the potential for some severe storms to develop to the south and east of the triangle and then we will see drier conditions into Friday with a little bit more sunshine. So here's the severe risk for tomorrow. It's a level one out of five and that does include portions of Cumberland County, Samson County and Wayne County. Damaging wind speeds will be the main threats and we cannot rule out the potential of getting upwards of an inch of rainfall across our viewing area with isolated higher amounts possible. We are going to see those temperatures on the cool side today. Check out the forecast into the next seven days. We're cold. It's going to feel like December 55 for the high on Thursday, getting down to 50 degrees on Saturday. If you're heading out to the Durham Holiday Parade, it's going to be a cold one. Make sure you pack those blankets and plan to bundle up as temperatures to start the day will be in the 30s.